we're realizing we've waited possibly a little too late. So <laughs> um, we know we want nine feet. I want it flocked. I don't actually care about the pre-lit part as much because those lights always end up going out and then you end up having to do like two strands of lights. So I wouldn't care if it wasn't a lit tree. Any <laughs> luck at Lowe's, so uh, nuts. I'm gonna try a few more spots. So we didn't get a tree, but we did get some roof panels for one of the barns and we were able to use gift cards that people have bought from our wish list. So awesome, roof for the barn and didn't have to pay out of pocket. <laughs> it's always nice. You gonna set it up today? <clears throat> it's already set up. So there's slim pickings, but after consulting many Home Depot employees, we decided not to get this one, even though it's the flocked one, because it is, it's, so, it's like, it's, so, it's, it's like cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, it's really thick. Um, it's the only one they have left. It's also more expensive, which whew, that's a, all these trees are so expensive. So, See, I think here's Ben, the Look, you do this. no, don't do that. Ben has opted for this one, <laughs> not flocked, but without with cones. the promise of flocking it himself every year and no that I want cones. a flocked tree. And no pine cones. And yeah, he's thinking cut mm. pine cones and things up. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. But he likes that it's like a combination and he likes that there's a pedal. So that's it. All right. So Adri reminded me <clears throat> that it's Vlogmas and I have not been filming enough, contributing, helping enough. So this is my contribution to Vlogmas so far. You can see we've already got a little bit of decoration up, but it's the first week of December and still got a little bit of work to do. So this is what I'm working on right now. Cool. All right, so this is the, the base of the tree. This is a four part faux tree. And I'm gonna try to frost as I assemble and then I'll let it dry. And then when it stride, we'll disassemble, we'll put it back inside where it's gonna go. And so this is where Adri hits the time lapse button right now. So I definitely messed that one up. Put the, instead of the four, three, two, I put the top, or the, at least the second from the bottom on the top. So I've got to fix that. All right, we'll let it dry and then come back out, check it out and put it back inside. It looks a little out of place with all like my green plants. It's so but... tall. It's taller than our house. <laughs> I thought you said it would fit. Uh oh. Don't fall. It's not going to be for a store. It has to. I have a star that reflects. Uh oh. oh. Uh oh, where's the star gonna go? We can, I mean, it, it's got like two Will it inches. bend a little? Yeah, well, it can just tape. Tape? We can tape the star on there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> got pacas and horses, emus and goats and cats <laughs> and dogs. So misty, it's not really even showing up on my phone, but been foggy, misty, kind of drizzling rain. It's supposed to rain like all week. Ugh. So gross. But Aldi put out their rain boots last week, just in time. <sighs> all right. Hi, everyone. Ready for some alfalfa? All right. We got to hang our wreath. So misty. Like, I like it when I'm inside because this is kind of as much winter as we get. So, it's sort of fun to look out the window and see it and pretend. Whoa! Like, pretend that it's snowing. <laughs> but, 
but then I have to go out in it <laughs> and it's gross and all of you are gross look at you you're all mud monsters his legs look so good they're so good come here I oh, know I'm sorry can you walk around a little but they look fantastic hi guys come on get out of the rain oh there's everybody else so i stand up there in the loft and i just throw alfalfa down <laughs> oh they're all looking so good you've seen like the transitions and where some of them started and how bad it was and how bad it got and strangles oh and yes p.s they have access to all six of these stalls that don't get wet and yet they stand out there so this is an atypical weekend because it's <clears throat> middle of December and I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt because it's 70 degrees outside. Welcome to Georgia. So I'm on a different barn today. I was working on the new barn, now I'm on the old barn. I ended up tearing out a retaining wall or a dividing wall and then I tore out the second story floor joists because you had to duck in when you went in if you were over five foot, 10 or six feet tall. And so the inside's done. I think Adri's got some photos and maybe some videos for that. But now I'm on the roof because there's not a lot of natural light. I'm trying to create a lot more natural light. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace uh, two full panels right here. And I'm gonna replace two full panels right there. All right, so it's still a little messy inside right now, but if you've seen the photos, the videos, the, the dividing wall, which was right here is completely gone. The floor joists, which right here second floor supporters were are completely gone so now you can actually walk in and stand up and perfect or actually before that so i also built shelves so we could organize all of our supplies in the barn so adri likes that and so perfect timing because i just finished the first panels and it started to thunderstorm and lightning but at least i got the first set up so now you already you can notice it a huge difference in the amount of just natural ambient light so so far it's working pretty well but now i'm stuck in the storm so i gotta wait it out all right done got the four clear vinyl panels up screwed down i may go back through and just caulk the seams just to make sure it's extra watertight but Let's go inside and check it out. All right, and here's the after. Already you can tell, I mean, it makes a huge difference inside. I think Adri's gonna be pretty happy with it. Ignore the mess though. But yeah, I think it turned out all right. This is my Starbucks winter cup collection so far. I have last year's somewhere. But this year, the one I really, really wanted was this set. Um, it's like kind of purple. I thought it was going to be more clear, kind of opal, to be honest. And it's sort of more purple. So that's a little ah, disappointing. Um, I actually got two of these big ones, though. And I'm using one for water. This one's just my collector one. And then they came out with these little cold cup ornaments, too. Um, and I got an extra one. Um, but what's cool is that they actually open. So like, I think on TikTok, they became super popular. People are like using them for shots and stuff. Um, but I just thought they were really cute. So there's those. And then this one, so I haven't found, there's a, yeah, this like matte purple, which kind of just looks gray on here, but it's like a lilac and a mint that are also in the big sizes and these little sizes so far, all we've been able to locate is the little size. 